collection video but this time these are sample perfumes and you will be decluttering with me so these are all my sample perfumes and let's start decluttering so first i have mon Paris by ysl so as you can see i still have a little bit um left in here so i do love this perfume so i wanted to finish this first and then decide if i'm going to buy or not the full bottle so i'm gonna put it in here the one that i'm keeping and the next i have the black opium by ysl so as you can see it's empty so i'm gonna throw this away i do love this perfume so i already got the bigger bottle on this one which i have shown on my previous perfume collection so for now i'm gonna throw this away since it's empty then i have here Miss Dior by Christian Dior. So I still have a little left on this one. but So I'm going to finish it off. But I'm not sure if I'm going to buy the full bottle on this one or not. So I'm still going to put it in here. Next, I have On Boy. Is this On Boy Vanille by Serge Lut. And so I'm not sure where I got this. I think it's because of the vanilla. That's why I got it. So as you can see there's still a lot so i'm gonna keep it but i'm not gonna consider buying the full bottle on this one because i already have my pink sugar and i think i like it better than this one next i have um what is this flower by kenzo so i still have more so i'm gonna keep it and finish it off though i'm not sure if i'm going to buy the full bottle or not for this one Next, I have here um, Armani Code by Giorgio Armani. I love this a lot. So I almost have, I have a little, some left here. I'm going to finish it. And I do consider buying the full bottle on this one. Next, I have um, Poison by Christian Dior. So I didn't finish it because I didn't like it that much. I do love the one, the Hypnotic Poison better, but I'm keeping it. I want to finish the product so that it won't go to waste. Next, I have here Bright Crystal by Versace. This one, I love this. Um, I actually had the, um, the big bottle on this one. It's given to my husband and it's this is really good. I like it a lot. So I'm going to finish it off and keep it. And then Crystal Noir by Versace. So I got the bigger one. I think this is in 5 mil. This is also really good. I'm going to finish it. I'll keep the bottle and finish it. And um, I might consider buying the bigger bottle as well. And then next I have here the Dolce & Gabbana for Femis. So I kind of forgot how this smells like. But... I think I've used a lot, so this must be good. So I'm going to use it again and can see if I'm going to buy the bigger bottle or not. Next, I have here, um, what's this? Chan Chanel number no. 5 by Chanel. This one is very strong. I don't think I can finish it, but I will keep it. So I'm not going to declutter this one, but I'm not going to buy the full bottle. Next is Olala by Marc Jacobs. So I just finished this recently. I almost forgot that I have this and it's really good. I want to buy the big bottle. So this one needs to be put away. It's empty. So next, I have Candy by Prada. So I use a lot already, but there's still some. So I'm going to keep it and finish it off. So I like this one. I also consider buying the full bottle. Next here I have Chanel by Chanel Shen. So I think this is already, there's still a product in it, but I don't think I can still spray this one. So I'm going to put this away. I didn't buy the full bottle, but I have the Chanel Chan's Utondra, which I like better. Then I have Alien by Thierry Mugler. So I don't like the smell that much. So I don't think I'm going to buy the bigger bottle. But there's still a little some left. So I'm going to keep it and finish it. Maybe one or two spray. 
and then this is Meow by Katy Perry so I think I'm just gonna put it away so I love this a lot I have the full bottle on this one this is very good but I'm just gonna put this away for now and then I have here Poison Girl by Christian Dior so this is also very sweet more young more youthful and younger version than the poison and the hypnotic poison though i still love the hypnotic poison than this one so i'll put this away since it's empty next i have here stella pop by stella mccartney so another beautiful perfume i like this one as well as you can see i finished it already but i'm considering buying the bigger size on this one next i have here la vie belle by Lancome so another perfume uh, favorite perfume of mine during the winter this is my go-to together with the hypnotic poison which I finished already so I already have the bigger bottle on this one so I'm gonna put this away next I have um, lime basil and mandarin by Jo Malone which I didn't like I tried spraying it a lot of times as you can see it's almost finished but I just don't like it though i want to try their other um <clears throat> perfumes so i might um like it but for now i will keep it and finish the last sprays on this one next i have here um viva la juicy by juicy couture so another very sweet fruity scent i like it but i end up buying the other version of this one like the viva la juicy noir instead of this because i like it better but for now, I will also keep this and then no, I changed my mind. I'm just going to put it away since I have a lot of Viva La Juicy bottles on sitting on my dresser. So this one is Nirvana White. Nirvana White by Elizabeth and James. So I had this for a long time, but I just um, started using this recently and it's really good. I like the scents smells fresh and clean so as you can see i still have more so i'll definitely keep it and we'll see but i don't think i'm gonna buy the full bottle on this one next i have gucci bloom by gucci i hate this perfume this is a very strong floral scent on it though i like some floral um scent in the perfume but this one is different it's a bitter scent on this which i don't understand um it smells like a sampaguita flower though i love the smell i love smelling the sampaguita flower but not on this one so i'm not gonna finish this anymore i'm just gonna put this away next i have here um hypnotic poison so by christian dior so i love this a lot as you can see i finished it so i'm buying the full bottle of this perfume next winter next i have coco by chanel this is another vintage perfume by chanel i find it very strong i don't think i can see myself um using this perfume but there's still a lot in here so i'm just gonna keep it and then next i have ralph by ralph lauren so this is another very good set though i don't see myself buying the full bottle in this one but for now still a little some some more sprays left so i'm just gonna finish it off before i throw it next i have for her by darciso rodriguez so i finished it off i really love the scent and i'm planning to buy the bottle the full bottle of this one one day so next i have decadence by mark jacobs so another favorite of mine i already love um i already bought a bigger bottle on this one so it's already empty i'm gonna throw put it away next i have here um jador by christian Dior. so i finish it I love the scent but I don't consider buying full bottle on this one so for now I'll put it away 
Next, I have here Velvet Orchid by Tom Ford. Another very strong um, perfume by Tom Ford. So I don't think I'm going to buy a full bottle of this one. But I will be keeping this until I finish it. Next, I have here GUADP by Giorgio Armani. So another okay perfume. I like. I don't hate it, but I don't love it. So I'm not going to buy the full bottle, but I will be keeping this and finish a sample as well. Next, I have here Dolce by Dolce & Gabbana. So I finished it off. I like this. I'm considering buying um, the full bottle on this one. Next, I have here Eros Pore Femme by Versace. So I'm not sure if I finish it off or it just evaporated because I remember not liking this perfume. But anyway, I'm going to put this away now since it's empty. I'm not going to buy the full bottle of this. Next, I have White Linen by Estee Lauder. So another okay perfume though it's not what i expected because of the name white linen i thought it's more of a clean mild um scent but i find it stronger for me so i'm just gonna finish i'm just gonna keep this and finish it next i have here burberry london for women so i think i have two of this but again i like it i'm gonna keep it and finish it and i also consider buying the full bottle of this Next, I have Aqua di Ghia by Giorgio Armani. So another empty of mine. I like this too. So if you saw my previous perfume collection, I already have the full bottle on this one. Next is I have um, Flora Botanica by Balenciaga. So I haven't used it that much because I don't like it that much. So I don't hate it, but I just don't think I'm going to buy the full size. I'm just going to keep it and just finish the sample. Next, I have um, Opium by YSL. So I do love the black opium, so I want to try um, the opium. But it turns out it smells different. I think it's more vintage and too strong for me as well. So you can see I still have a lot, but I'm going to keep it and try to finish it. Next, I have here Classic by John Paul Gaultier. So again, I'm not, um, I don't like the smell that much, but still, I'm going to keep it and finish the sample. Next, I have Black Opium Floral Shock. So though I finish it, but doesn't mean I like it. I think it's very strong. Even the people around me would sometimes commented like, it's really strong um i like the black opium better so i finish it and that's it i'm not gonna buy the bottle next i have c by giorgio armani this one i like this a lot i'm gonna i'm looking forward to buy the full bottle i still have some left so i'm gonna keep it maybe this is just gonna be one or two spray but still i'll finish it next i have um jimmy choo by jimmy choo so another one i just used this recently because the first time i sprayed this i didn't like it i feel it's too strong but i give it another try and the dry down is good i love i'm loving it so as you can see i almost finished it so i'm gonna keep it let's see i can still spray it a little bit so i'll keep it and i'll make sure to finish it before i throw it away and i'm gonna buy the full bottle as well next i have light blue by dolce and cabana so i finish it it's okay i don't hate it but i don't love it that much so i'm not but i'm not gonna buy the full bottle next i have here forbidden affair by anna Sui. I'm, this is another perfume. I'm not sure if I finished this or not. I think it's just evaporated. Um, I didn't like it that much. I'm expecting more from this perfume, but um, it's not. So I'm not going to buy the full bottle. Next, I have here um, Noir Pour Femme. 
by Telford. So this one, I even forgot that I have this. But again, it's a very strong perfume by Tom Ford. I don't see myself wearing this perfume, but I will be keeping this since I don't want this to be put to waste and I will finish it. Next, I have here um, White Patchouli by Tom Ford. So this one, I expected this to be a bit a less stronger perfume because I don't know, maybe it's white, not black or velvet, but still it's um it's quite strong for my liking but still i'll keep it and try to finish it next i have the one by dolce and gabbana this one i love this perfume i almost finished it i stopped using this one but i want to use this again and finish it i'm looking forward to buy a bottle of this one then i have Romance by Ralph, Lor Ralph Lauren. So this one is another good perfume, which I will be finishing the sample. I will be keeping it, but I'm not going to buy. I don't think I'm going to buy the full bottle on this one. I just cannot decide yet. But for now, I'm keeping this. Next, I have here Versace Delan Blue Pour Femme. I love this perfume. It's very fresh. I like that fruity scent on it and it also smells a bit like a shampoo kind of scent which I like. I sometimes spray this on my hair. It's very fresh. I like it so I think I finished this already. There's still a few spray but I'm gonna keep this to remind myself that I'm gonna buy the full bottle of this one. Next I have here Black Orchid by Tom Ford. This is another very strong perfume which I'm not gonna use or buy. But this reminds it has a smoky smell on it. It reminds me of like um entering a very a cold, dark room with smoke everywhere, but there's a little bit of sweetness in it. I find this um perfume mysterious, though I just don't like wearing this one, but I'm gonna keep it. Next, I have Cool Water Zeros by David Off. So this is finished. My husband loved this a lot. So he's the one finished it. We already bought the full bottle on this one. It's a very good perfume. Next, here I have Armani Code by Giorgio Armani. So I love this as well. I finished it last um, winter. I also wear this one. Um looking forward to buy the full bottle on this next year i'm keeping this i think there's still a little bit left i don't want to throw it away next i have here what is this the dior addict by christian dior so another favorite of mine by christian dior so you can see it's almost finished but i think there's still a bit one or two spray on it i'm gonna keep this another reminder to buy the full bottle next i have um this is coco mademoiselle by chanel it's again very strong um for my liking so i don't think i'm gonna buy the full bottle but since there's still a lot i'm not gonna throw this away i will keep it and try to finish it next i have here um modern muse so i got this from a description um subscription box um, I think this is my third um, sample that I have and I do love this one. I will finish it but um, I don't think I'm gonna buy the full bottle though this is very good perfume. I like the smell on this one. Next I have Insolence by Guerlain. So another good perfume that I'm keeping. There's still some left. I'll continue using this and I'll see if I'm going to buy the full bottle. Next, I have here Lolita Lempica by Lolita Lempica. So, this is a very, um, another sweet perfume, but there's a scent in it that I don't like. I think it's the licorice. I'm not sure if it's in the notes, but I think I can smell it and I don't like that. So, I'm just gonna finish this off, but I'm not gonna buy the full bottle. So, we're down to a few. Um, this one here is. Pink Sugar by Aquilina. So, of course, I all have 
I have the full bottle on this one. I think before the sample arrived, I already bought the full bottle. I was sold with all the reviews I've read about this perfume because I like gourmand, um, sweet kind of perfume. So I love this, but I'm going to put this away now. Next, I have um, Gucci Bamboo by Gucci. So this one, I cannot remember the smell. So um maybe there's no significance in this one but i'm gonna try again i will keep this and finish it next is the um l l, l ecstasy or l ecstasy i'm not sure l ecstasy i think by nina ricci so this is another good perfume i like wearing this in a colder days it's very good i think um the cold um the scent will uh, match um, very nicely on the cold. I like the sweetness on it. It's not sickening. So um, Unfortunately, it's finished, but next year I'm gonna buy this for the winter. So for now, I'm gonna put it away And then next is um, Paco Roban This is Olympia, I think mm, Olympia Intense so Again, it's very strong for my liking, so I'm not buying the full bottle. Next is, I have Kenzo World by Kenzo. So this um, smells really good, but I feel like it's too expensive. Um, I find it more expensive. There are other perfumes with the same price that I like better. So I don't think I'm going to buy the full bottle for now. Next is Coach. This is Coach um, Floral Blush. So I got this as a sample from my subscription box and I love it a lot. It's very girly and youthful. I love I love it and I'm considering buying the full bottle. So next is Flower Bomb by Victor and Rolf. So I finished the sample already and I'm looking forward to buy the full bottle. I love the smell. Then next I have here um, Aqua di Parma Blue Mediterranean. This is actually a men's fragrance. I got this from a subscription box, but even so, I still don't like the smell. I think it's very strong. Too strong. Next I have here Neroli Portofino by Tom Ford. So I got this. I think it's a very expensive perfume, even the one mil size. So I got this for a sample before I bought the full bottle, but I don't think I'm going to buy the full bottle because um, though I love the smell, but the Neroli is very, um, um, it's a very dominant scent on it, which I could get from other perfumes that are lesser in price, though maybe the um, the performance is different, but still, I would love to discover other perfumes first with the same scent before I'm going to buy the full bottle on this one. Are all that has been decluttered. These are the empties and almost empties. And here are the ones that I'm keeping, which are still a lot. Thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, any suggestions down below, and please subscribe for more videos. Thank you.